official Robert Banks and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, you want to hit that subscribe button because this channel is full of tea, drama, and story times. And I'm a chick from Brooklyn. Everybody loves a chick from Brooklyn and that's on period. Period! Before I get into the story time, I have a few things to say. One being that I know my voice sounds fucking disgusting, but I have a head cold. It's not the vid. I got a rapid test and it's not the vid. I'm Gucci. Um, My test came back negative. I just got a head cold, so I'm really congested. My nose is like where so I sound very nasally but I did want to go back into recording story times because for a while like the whole last month I did pretty much vlogs I think I only did one story time and y'all really not feeling the vlogs I was just trying to test the waters because I didn't really have a lot of sit down time to record story times like I used to have because it was a lot going on with my personal life and I didn't have um, I wasn't really in the mood to sit down and record a video because like I was just getting my feelings and I didn't want to come up on here with some weird ass dead ass energy and I also didn't want to go without giving y'all any videos so I was just basically vlogging everything that was going on if you were interested to want to keep up with everything that was going on then you could check those vlogs out to see all the shit that I was going through and shit that I was doing while I wasn't recording story times but for you guys that's here that fuck with my story times I'm back on it I'm back at it like a crack addict and we starting off strong so this i put a poll on my instagram asking if you guys want me to tell you about all my celebrity experiences in one video or give everybody a separate video and a lot of people said they wanted a series so this is gonna kick off the series i'm not sure exactly what i'm gonna title this specific video but this was one of my first encounters I don't know if I to call it encounters but this is my first what should I call it celebrity experience or oh, the first time I had a celebrity slide in my DM future Robin here I'm editing the video right now and I realized I kept saying slide in my DM throughout the video but once I collected the receipts I it came to my attention that DMs weren't even a thing when this happened like this is so old this was before Instagram had DMs so when y'all see the receipts and y'all see the communication is not through a DM don't be confused I thought like bro I forgot that there was no such thing as DMs I forgot once upon a time Instagram did not have DMs and people would dead comment on your picture from 107 weeks ago so listen when y'all continuously say DMs don't get confused there was no DMs at this time so if the screenshots is not matching what I'm saying that's why I just want to jump in here and say it because I keep saying DMs throughout the video and technically this person didn't slide through my DMs because there was no DMs he was just commenting under my pictures but yeah back to the video so, for the sake of this video, we're gonna call him Little Chico Stick. I'm Mr. Chico Stick. Don't go busting your brain trying to figure out who I'm talking about because I don't want no problems. I'm just a small YouTuber. I'm not looking for no clout, no attention. It's just a story to tell. So, um, this happened when I was back in high school. I want to say I was in 10th or 11th grade. And at this time, Little Chico Stick was hot on the scene. He was new. He had a new sound. He's a rapper, by the way, if I didn't mention. He had a new sound. And everybody was fucking with his music, fucking with his gang music. It was something different to rap. And... I was a groupie. I ain't gonna lie. I was a little Chico Stick fan from the first song I heard to whatever he's putting out now. I've been a diehard little Chico Stick fan. Like, I used to be on his body. Like, on his body. And I was never the type to be a fangirl over celebrities. Like, growing up, I never really was like, you know, when everybody was hype about Trey Songs and Chris Brown. I was never going crazy for them because I was never into, like, pretty boys. I was always off into, like, hood niggas. Like, I used to be fascinated with a hood nigga so all the pretty boys everybody was going after trey songs usher chris brown i wasn't fangirling over them but when little chico stick came on the scene i was on his body and my friends used to be like mm, what you like about him and i'm just like his whole aura his whole aura so um this is early instagram days so people weren't really like heavy on instagram people were more on facebook but this was when instagram was fake still exclusive to iphone if you remember this Time, comment down below because I was trying to bring it up to my homegirl and she dead ass did not know what I was talking about. There was a time where Instagram was only for iPhone users. You could not use it on a Droid. You could not use it on a Blackberry. You couldn't use it on anything but an iPhone. And that was when I was on Instagram. It wasn't It wasn't big. Like That's when people was taking pictures with the little filter on it, the Instagram filter. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So I follow Little Chico Stick on Instagram and I was tracking his post and I used to like all his pictures, comment like on some fangirl crazy shit like oh my god I love you little Chico like I used to be on his body like heavy on his body and one day I don't remember exactly what happened 
but I ended up DMing him first. But keep in mind, I used to send him DMs, because this was before stories. I used to send him DMs, but it would be sporadically, and it would be random ass shit. Like, if he posts a picture, I would be like, oh my god, little Chico stick, like, I love your music. Like, literally, being a groupie, being a fangirl, being a dick rider, call it what you want. I was young, I was in high school, and we all been there. I feel like we all been there. Everybody, everybody fangirls over their favorite rapper, or favorite artist, or favorite actress, or anything like that actor or anything like that before so it wasn't weird for me to do this i wouldn't do it now but at the time i knew he wouldn't write back so i didn't really care i didn't have an issue with me professing my love for little chico stick and his dms because i'm like he ain't gonna see this shit he probably get millions of dms on a day on a day-to-day -day basis on a regular so i wrote him and one day like mad random while i was in school I see I get a DM notification and it said little Chico stick and it said what's up shorty. So I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Am I being pranked? Is this a fake page? Like this cannot be little Chico stick writing me. And I'm going to try to see if I can find some of the DMs because this was my old, this was from my old Instagram because I did have an Instagram before this one and it got deleted. But I did keep that screenshot in like my keep safe. I kept that in my keepsake because, like, you know, I was just fanned out. Like, oh, my God, this is the day little Chico Stick wrote me. So I'm going to try to find it in one of my hidden albums, my saved albums, so I can insert it in the screen. But I, but if I can't find it, y'all know why, but I'm going to find it. So he wrote me, like, what's up, shorty? And I was like, oh, what's up? Like, mind you, at this time, I was treacherous looking. Like, I looked crazy. I was mad dusty. Like, I was so crazy looking, like. I feel like I probably only had one picture on the gram and it was like a kissy face like with a filter on it. Nothing that he could look at my page and be like, oh, she a baddie. Let me respond. But he responded to me like, what's up, shorty? So I was in gym when he wrote me and I was with my homegirl. I'm like, oh, my God, little Chico stick just DM me. I, I, and my friend like right back right back and I'm like I don't know what to say and she like be like what's up play it cool and I'm like girl I cannot play it cool when if he scroll up in his DMs all he see is me writing him every week like baby ooh boo I love you I want to meet you you're so nice I love your music like he already know if I play it cool it's like bitch you know you be on my body so I wrote him back like oh hey what's up I never thought I was I, I I'm cringing at what I wrote back but I basically was saying hey what's up I never thought you would write back and he wrote lol like mad bland <laughs> mad bland mad simple so i gave him my number he texted me at first it was like from an icloud it was like little chico stick at icloud.com and i was like nah something is weird about this so when he first texted me i responded and i was like why are you not texting me from a phone number and he was like oh um people be trying to leak my number i don't really be like i don't really trust people so i don't really be trying to get my number out that's why i'm texting you from my icloud which i felt like that was cool that was relatable like you know i'm not gonna leak your number boo but i get what you're trying to say you gotta protect yourself so we texted mind you it wasn't nothing i'm not gonna lie the conversation was like hella dry i was forcing it because i wanted to keep his interest because i wanted to know like i was thinking like oh my god i might end up being a rapper wife like i ain't gonna lie i'm gonna end up being a rapper wifey mind you little chico stick was not that much older than me i believe we like the same age or he like one year older than me and on top of that like he was like yalis like he had beer gal so it's not that i could not end up being his bitch but I, it was it was it was a little, I had a little shot there but the conversation was dead as dry and I was really forcing it. I would say a little shit. He'd be like, LOL. But I was also trying not to come off as, like, groupy or fiend out. Because I know that turns... I know that turns celebrities off. Like, when you're like, oh my god, I love you. Ah. Like, when you're feeding for them, I know it turns them off low-key. So, I was trying to play it cool. Like, what you doing? And one day he was like, what you doing? I'm like, I'm in school. And he was like, LOL. And I was just like, what's funny? Like, I did not know what to say. And then another day he texted me and he was like, what you doing? And I was like, nothing, chilling. And he was like, um, come see me. And I'm like, where you at? And he was like, I ain't gonna say where he's from because y'all gonna figure it out. And he said the city that he's from, he's like, he's out there, fly out to see him. And in my head, I'm like, boy, I am 16. Like, where am I going? Like, I cannot just get up and fly out to go see you in a whole nother city by myself at 16. Like, what am I gonna tell my parents? Like, where am I gonna go? Like, how am I gonna explain? At this time... At this time, at this point in my life, I never even took a trip by myself, like flew out anywhere by myself. So I was like, 
he was like oh um fly out so i was playing along like i'm gonna come what days i'm like i gotta come on a friday because i have school i gotta come for a weekend and he was like send your name send your date of birth mind you i was panicking because i'm like what if he really booked this flight i am not going <laughs> I am not going and I did not want to tell him like I didn't want to seem like a little ass girl so I didn't want to be like oh I can't I gotta tell my parents so I was trying to play it cool or whatever and I sent my name a date of birth and then he went missing so I'm like okay whatever days was going he ain't right back I didn't want to be pushy I didn't want to write him and I happened to get into a fight in school and I lost my phone and I wanted to cry mainly because I needed my phone to communicate with little Chico Steak. So it's like I was devastated. I think I did a story time about that fight um, too. So you could go check it out. I'm going to try to link it somewhere put it on the screen. But I did lost my phone in that fight. So I had to go back to square one and start DMing little Chico Steak. So I DMed him like um, I lost my phone um, in school. Do you still want me to come see you? Da -da -da. And he was like yeah. And I was like okay when? And then he vanished. So, off and on, for a couple months, back and forth, he would DM me here and I would DM him there, but it would never go nowhere. Like, he was dry as fuck. Like, us having a conversation was really basic. It would just be like, what you doing? What you doing? LOL. Like, it was nothing, no spark, no nothing to it. And over time, like my boy crazy fiend out over him face started to fade i mean i still like him as an artist like up to today like i'll bump his shit like i love him but my attraction to him wasn't there because once i really got to have a conversation with him i realized like he has no personality or maybe he really just did not like me like that like maybe he was just not feeling me because every time i talked to him it would just be dry and then he would go missing now a year or two went by and this is when I used to be on Facebook heavy another girl from Brooklyn was writing posts about how she deal with little Chico steak and da 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 and people was like yeah girl whatever you lying da 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 and then she dropped a picture of her in a hotel room in a bed with little Chico steak and then I realized like mind you this girl is like manhood so then I realized like little Chico steak probably just links anybody like at this point like no shade to her but I felt special in the beginning because it's like, oh my god, I'm just this girl from New York, this little girl from Brooklyn, and little Chico Stick wrote me back, and he was trying to fly me out, and I was only 16, but then it started becoming a pattern of people in my city that linked him, so it's like, damn, and that's only in my city, and he ain't even from here, so it just made me think, like, he just go around linking anybody that would link him, like, he will link anybody in any city that will link him. So I was kind of happy that I dodged the bullet. And also keep in mind, like, little Chico Stick, he had a lot of women, a lot of kids, a lot of baby mamas. So it's like, he got around. And all of that come into play, it just... I wasn't really that much attracted to him. But I would hit him up still here and there as time went on you know when instagram started developing ig stories i would like you know if he posts something i will respond he will respond to me sometimes nothing too crazy though and i think up to like 2018 he posted a story i'm gonna see if i can put the screenshots in here but he posted a story i'm like oh you in my city again because i will always write little shit like that to him and he will respond and he like yeah i'm in your city so i'm just like here we go again with the come see me like i am not it's not giving that but i'm not gonna lie i had told one of my homegirls like yo little chico stick is in new york and he's telling me to link him and my friend was like let's go let's go i want to meet him i want his man's like somebody that he's close with she like i'm trying to get next to his mans like come on let's go and i'm like girl no you fanned out you groupied out i don't want to go i already know what it is when a rapper tell you to link him like come on two plus two equal four like you know what's up and she's like oh my god come on let's go you don't gotta you don't gotta be on that take one for the team let's go so i started making the plans to go link him and we was texting again and i was like oh where you at till what time da 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 and he was like all right come and he gave me the information to the hotel and then i started getting ready and then i was texting him and he wasn't writing back so one thing about me, if I'm supposed to link you and I'm texting you and you not writing back, I'm not going. Even though I know where you at, who you at, I'm not going because it makes me feel like you don't want me to come. Everybody's phone is in their hand. We're in 2021. If somebody's texting you, you might not respond at that moment, but you're going to respond. So I just took it as, oh, maybe he got another person to pull up 
and they beat me to it. So I didn't go anymore, even though he gave me the information. Lo and behold, at like three in the morning, he was trying to FaceTime me. I was sleeping. And then I got a text, and he like, shorty, where you at? I thought you was pulling up on me. And I'm just like, bro, we made plans to see each other since 6 in the evening. You're writing me at 3 in the morning. And he was still on some slide, slide. Like, I'm not coming to see you at 3 in the morning. I don't care if you Barack Obama. I don't care if you little Chico Stick. I am not pulling up to come see you at 3 in the morning in a hotel room. Everybody knows what's going down. My homegirl ended up being mad at me and saying like, oh, I, I, we were supposed to link them. And I was just on some like, girl... <laughs> girl like we already know what was gonna come out of that i mean i didn't really i don't know like like i said over the years my attraction for him declined like i loved him as an artist but the boy crazy obsessed me that i was over him it really wasn't given that no more like i really wasn't crazy about him no more so I wasn't fiend out to link him or nothing like that. So, yeah, because he's dry. And I already put two and two together. We all know rappers only link the locals so they can have a low-key person to smash on. It's very rare that a rapper starts talking to somebody that's not in their caliber. And I mean their caliber by... Most people know rappers always link the same type of women. Either they're um, entertainers, you know what I mean, adult entertainers, or bartenders or ig models boutique owners you know stuff like that hairstylists nail techs or other artists rappers singers actresses stuff like that it's rare you find a rapper start talking to a local girl and start messing with her bring her up unless he already was messing with the local girl before he was a rapper like it's mad rare if i'm lying please comment down below a scenario where somebody started dating a local ass person and brought them up with them it's rare like i feel like i feel like rappers use their status to an advantage when it comes to talking to a local girl like in this situation i feel like he thought like girl you've been in my dm so if i try to text you and tell you to fly out you're gonna jump to see me you're gonna jump at the opportunity to see me because you've been fanned out opposed to if they was to talk to somebody that's already been dealing with rappers ballers ball players all that shit they know they gotta approach them differently does that make sense am i making sense i always feel that way like celebrities they don't give the local girls dust that's why i don't understand why people be so hyped when they start dealing with a celebrity on the low whether it's sexually more than likely you're not getting nothing out of it but you being next to the rapper like that's it he probably get you in a section once in a while but besides that he ain't trying to wife you. You just a groupie hoe. And he just want groupie love. As far as little Chico stick, um, I haven't communicated with him since then. I'm going to try to put all the little messages in here, the ones that's recent. And I'm going to try to find the first initial DM and the first initial conversation when me and him was texting. So I could put it in here too. This story time is fake short. Sure, but I have some other celebrity encounters encounters is that the right, right terminology but i have some other story times about celebrities if you guys are interested in that leave a comment down below and let me know if y'all want me to tell spill the tea about these other people also please do not if you have figured out who little chico stick is please don't run into his dms with this video <laughs> have him harassing me or violating me on his um instagram or something like that or please don't comment down below please don't try to figure it out please don't put two plus two because y'all probably won't even figure it out because i didn't even i try to make it i try to save the details i try to spare details so you guys won't try to put two and two together so if you do figure it out keep it to yourself girl don't be trying to spread tea spill tea and get me into some deep tea because mm, mm. If you like this story time and would like more story time, leave a comment down below. And leave a comment, let me know if you ever had a rapper or a celebrity or a ball player or an NFL player, anything like that. Slide into your DMs because some people be thinking these celebrities are hard to link. But it's a lot of celebrities that's hella friendly and be in mad local people DMs linking mad local people. So if you ever had a situation where you had somebody in your DMs, comment down below because I want to know your tea. You don't got to say who it is, but you could tell your little story because I'm interested in hearing your story too, girl. I'm sorry this story time was 
short because usually my story times are a little bit longer than this but hopefully you guys like it because i'm trying to get back into sitting in front of the camera and telling stories i'm sorry my voice sounds so annoying but if you love me you will sit through this video and listen to me but like i said before if you like this video and you like other videos tell a friend to tell a friend hit that subscribe button because we on the road to 50k and from 50k is 51k 52k 53k 54k and from there it's up and it's stuck Brr.